Class, uh, let's settle down. Let's bring it to a voice level of zero. Like the first breath is like very pale first and then taking breath. And that's by the time that I'm already out of breath. Like all of them are just holding their That's it. Welcome to North Garland High School. Here at NGHS, we have a number of expectations our students must follow. This is Sensible Susan. Responsible, respectful, and most of all, sensible. As you enter the classroom, enter with a voice level 0 to 1. Your cell phone must be off and stored. Go directly to your assigned seat and begin your warm-up. Watch how she immediately sits down and begins working on her bell ringer. Wait, where is Larry? This is Lousy Larry. As you can see, Lousy Larry is tardy, but he doesn't have a pass. So what should you do? First and fifth period late arrivals have to get a tardy slip at the tardy kiosk. Take your tardy slip to your class and place in the teacher designated area. So the teacher tells him to go to the tardy kiosk. Go to the tardy kiosk. Should students need to use the restroom, they must wait until after the first 20 minutes of class. The bathroom expectations are as follows. Ask permission to go to the restroom. Remember your 2020 policy. Show the teacher you are wearing your ID and proceed to the nearest restroom. Yo, teach, can I go? No dice, Larry. You gotta wait at least one more minute. May I please use the restroom, sir? The teacher turns to the clock and indicates that she may proceed with the bathroom procedure. Sure thing, Susan. You may proceed. Inside and outside of the classroom, we must adhere to the following guidelines concerning voice levels. What are voice levels, you may ask? A voice level 0 means you should not talk. A voice level 1 means whispering. A voice level 2 means a small group talking. A voice level 3 means a larger group or a class discussion. And a voice level 4 is yelling. Save that for pep rallies and sports. Voice levels determine how loud a student is allowed to speak. A voice level of zero means you must not speak. A voice level of one means you must whisper. Two and three means you must speak as if you were in a small or large group respectively. And a four means you may yell at the top of your lungs. Hey, what's going on, buddy? Any adult that raises their hand in a high five position is asking for you to go to a voice level zero and prepare to listen. As you can see, Lousy Larry is still unfamiliar with the voice level procedure, so Mr. Kriegler hands him a detention slip. If staying after school for detention, report to the designated room at the designated time. Don't be a Lousy Larry. After class is dismissed, Students must either exit the building or go to tutorials by 2.45, unless you're like Lousy Larry and have detention instead. The Lousy Larry League congregates within the confines of the Educational Institutions Hall. Shoo! Go away! Get to where you're supposed to be! When you're dismissed from last period, the teacher dismisses you, not the bell. Teachers and staff monitor as you exit the classrooms and building. Keep your voice level 0 to 1. Loitering is not allowed. Because Larry did not follow expectations, he went to detention. 
Here is a brief reminder of some other expectations so that you don't end up like Larry. Students can begin entering the building at 6.50 a.m. You can either report to the cafeteria, library, or a classroom for tutoring. When traveling in the hallway, walk on the right side. Keep moving. And make sure your headphones are in one ear only. When going to the cafeteria for lunch, have a voice level 0 to 1 in the hallways. Walk on the right side. Choose a line allowing you enough time to eat, which is 30 minutes. While eating at the cafeteria, have a voice level of 1, and you may use your cell phone. Do not leave cafeteria area without adult permission. On cafeteria etiquette, speak respectfully to all personnel, say please and thank you. Any object thrown in the cafeteria will result in disciplinary action. Bring your iPad every day charged and ready to use. Use your iPad only when designated to do so, otherwise have your screen down. We hope you have enjoyed this educational training video. Have a wonderful school year!